it's Harley and today we're going to be potting up some of my plants that have been needing repotted for so long. Really quick, I'm going to be wearing, I can't find my gardening gloves because I hardly ever use them, but I need to wear gloves. I'll tell you in a minute why. So instead I'm going to be using my husband's um, army like military gloves. So I need to wear gloves today because my nails are so brittle and paint, they're like hurting really bad and it's because yesterday I filmed 100 nail tutorials. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that I have a second channel. That's what this channel used to be, but I just got taken over by plants. <laughs> So that's what this channel is. I had to make a second one for my other stuff. But anyway, that's beside the point. My fingernails are very brittle now. They hurt really badly. But guess what I did? I'm so dumb and I, I hate myself. It took me over 14 hours to film all of those tutorials. I had 170 files on my SD card. I put them onto my computer and then I like exported them to my hard drive because that's a lot of files. I put them there and then I freaking like an idiot deleted them everywhere else before checking to make sure the files were okay. And <laughs> I accidentally saved them into my hard drive as thumbnails instead of video clips. So I lost all of that footage and before I cry, let's stop talking about it. I know, I'm really dumb, it's okay. This is a lot harder to do with gloves, I already can tell you that. This is my philodendron red emerald. My mom gave it to me, it's a piece from her plant. But if you guys want one for yourself, like I don't wanna sound salesy. Oh shoot, I don't wanna be that person. But I know a lot of people have been interested in this plant in my previous videos. We do have, I think like five of them available on Etsy which I will have linked in my description. This one was a cutting. You can see, look at those roots. It's a really beautiful plant. It's really easy to care for. Philodendrons usually are really easy. I am making a mess. And I think it's these gloves. This is why I don't wear gloves because A, I love the filling of the soil on my bare skin for some reason. It's a weird like thing, I don't know. I don't know. Some of you get it. Some of you think we're, the rest of us are weird. But they like, I can't like, do anything. I feel constricted. I seriously have to wear them because my nails are so painful right now. That was going to be such a good nail video. I'm so mad at myself. What have you guys been up to? I feel like I haven't filmed a video for here in a long time, even though it really hasn't been that long. It's been a weird month. <coughs> Between quitting my job and then being in New York for a week and a whole bunch of other like side projects. You know, life. Right? Life in general. Now that I have all that out of the way, let me clean up my life. Ryan's gone. He's helping his parents move, but he should be home later. He might actually film a video with me, which a lot of people have been requesting. So that'd be fun, right? Ryan's my husband, by the way. I am married. I get a lot of comments asking if I have a boyfriend or something, and I don't have a boyfriend. I have a husband. This is the pot I'm going to put my red emerald in. So... I'm gonna just fill it up to like about here with soil. I am using my same soil mix, except half like perlite orchid bark, half um, go black gold potting soil, which I'll have every, all of my favorite products linked in the description as always. They're always down there if you're interested. But I am using slightly less orchid bark because I was running low. Just kind of wing it, whatever you feel whatever you feel good about. I know some people really didn't like the fact that I'm using so much orchid bark these days, but I don't know. My plants seem to like it. They're doing pretty well. And I like the fact that the orchid bark kind of retains moisture a little bit because I think it helped my plants stay alive while I was on a trip because I don't think Ryan watered them at all. Now I'm just gonna dig a little hole in the middle there. Just some video, some videos that are upcoming. Um, I am going to be posting my Peperomia houseplant care video because I do have a lot of Peperomia and then also how to hang houseplants from your ceiling. And I am going to find a branch or something to prop him with later, but for now, this should, he should be fine without. Look at how cute he looks. Now I'm gonna fill him in the rest of the, rest of the way. I don't know if you guys saw, my mom won an Instagram giveaway and she got like a huge pink princess philodendron. And I'm very, very jealous of it. Very, very jealous. But she did get me a plant from the same place that she won the giveaway from. 
So that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, I hate wearing gloves. This crap makes everything in life so much harder. So I don't know about where all the rest of you live, but where I live, there are signs of spring and I'm feeling pretty jolly about it. <laughs> There's a lot of soil in there. I think I might have been out of focus that entire time, but what's new? I don't have quality content here on my channel. We just hang out, right? I don't think anybody comes here for quality content. It's not really me, you know? Okay, so there's my red emerald philodendron all potted up. This is the hardest one I'm going to be repotting today. The rest of them are really small, but this guy's big and kind of scraggly, so it made it a little more difficult, but I think he looks really nice in this pot. I've just had him on my floor over here because he is a big plant. But like I said, I am going to get him like a pole or something to um, climb up. I actually want to find a cool like piece of driftwood or something or just a cool branch to tie him to because he is a little bit ski wampus, which is fine. I like him a little weird, you know? Next up, I'm going to repot my New York plants, which are all pepperonia. Yep, definitely been out of focus. It's fine. It's fine, right? I'll do better. <laughs> I see all these other people making YouTube videos about plants and their videos are so high quality. And then here I am. <laughs> Cries. Come here, dude. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Are you barking for attention? It's okay. I get it. I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do, huh, bud? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, other people have better, uh, quality content than I do. I'm just here for fun, you know? Okay, maybe I'm not going to repot these teeny tiny ones and I'll save them for my Peperomia care video because I I have filmed that and I do talk about um, how to repot Peperomia, so I'll just use that as like B-roll footage to insert in. People have been asking me to include more up close footage of plants as I'm talking about them, so I'll definitely do that. This pot is quite a bit bigger than their plants, but I think I'm gonna put this guy in here. Yeah? Okay. These gloves suck. I know I've been saying I have a lot of different kinds of videos coming and I do. The thing about that is a lot of the plant videos that have been requested require time, you know? I'm filming an avocado, how to grow an avocado, how to grow an acorn, the full process of water propagating from start to finish, planting seeds, I have an herb garden going. It's just all stuff that takes a lot of time. Um, I have a how to water propagate a ZZ plant video filming. So I know it seems like I've been lazy and I haven't been uh, filming stuff, but oh, I have to wait for plants to grow, which is a process. Do you guys listen to podcasts? I listen to a lot of cr true crime podcasts and I watch a lot of true crime YouTube as well, actually, now that we're talking about it. I was just wondering if you guys are into that as well or if I'm a lone wolf there. Oh, I like the way this guy looks in here. I am just really struggling with the videography today. You know, now as always, have the sides. So there's that guy. What do you think? Okay, <laughs> there's so much dust in the air. And by dust, I mean soil. <laughs> I found another pot that I like a lot better than this blue one. I forget what this color of kind of pot is. Yes, I'm very happy with my decision. I'm gonna put my gloves back on because I'm starting to feel the soil on them and it hurts. Not to be dramatic. <laughs> I wish I was being dramatic, honestly. Okay, fill in the bottom just a little bit. Plop him in here, kind of off to the side because he's not growing straight up in the pot, if you know what I mean. What is your number one wishlist plant right now? Mine is a Chinese evergreen spelt milk, which I talked about in my last video. So if you guys know of one, let me know maybe. It's looking very cute in here. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. It's like a tree. Honestly, I want to repot every plant in my house right now because after this I have to go refill my 100 nail arts video and it's going to hurt physically, mentally, and emotionally. <laughs> Okay, now I'm trying to decide if I want to repot this Peperomia Frost or not. I don't think I'm going to repot this right now because it's my baby. <laughs> Um, but I just love this plant so much and I don't have a pot that I love it in. I only have like this color of terracotta but I, and um, like ceramic pots, but I don't want to put it in something ceramic because in my experience, Peperomia do better in like an airy pot like this 
it's not glazed or enamel, you know? So I think I'm going to wait. I only repotted three plants, but I think I'm going to cut it short here because I've been really struggling and my fingers hurt. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of this video. No, actually don't, it's not my best, but it's also not my worst, so that's okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see my next one.